What's up guys, JP here. Thanks for joining me. I got another lock plate that um, I'm going to be doing electrolysis on. This is a cool lock plate. It is a um, Confederate infield tower lock plate. It's in uh, pretty decent condition um, considering that it was uh, dug. So this uh, lock plate is um, going to be perfect for electrolysis. I'm really excited about it because the entire hammer mechanism in the back of it is functional um, it actually goes back and forth and it locks the hammer back um, to where if you pull this then it'll release the hammer which is awesome so I'm gonna do electrolysis on this um, because I think it'll turn out really well um, I have a uh, tower partially on the lock plate with the date um, I did not dig this, but this is one that I definitely wanted to pick up because I thought it would be great for electrolysis and for everybody to uh, see the before and after on this, especially because the hammer and the back of the lock plate, um, all the mechanism was uh, uh, functioning. So um, stick with me and I'm going to have a video, short video of it, and then also I'm going to have uh, the before photos and the photos of it afterwards. So. Um, hopefully this turns out this is the third lock plate that I've done uh, so hopefully it'll turn out as well as the uh, first uh, two other ones that I've done uh, in the past so stick with me guys all right guys sodium carbonates going in and I usually just eye this up guys I don't think there's a exact amount that I don't know, I just eye it up. Some might say that's too much, I don't know, but it seems to work for me every time. So just stir that up, let it dissolve down, and then that's what uh, that's the solution that you're gonna need, so. All right, I got it situated down in the water, and it is not on yet, but I got it situated down in the water between the plates. That's exactly what you guys wanna do. Okay, so we're gonna go, uh, I got, the, got it hooked up there, but we're gonna go plug it in. That's a battery charger. And I'll show you what it looks like after it gets going. And I'm going to set mine up to 10 amps. Some might say you should have it at 6, but let me hit it at 10. But look at the connection, guys. That's what you want to see. Look at all those bubbles coming off of that lock plate already. That's what you want to see. I'm not going to let it go for long, but... Uh, Hopefully it turns out well. I'll show you guys the uh, uh, end results of it and uh, hopefully we can get the entire uh, tower and the entire date off of it. All right, getting this uh, sealed up now. Um, doing the wax seal on this uh, infield lock plate. It's uh, turned out beautiful. Actually, I can see the entire date on it now. It's 1862 and it's uh, tower is totally clear now. Before you could only see uh, just part of the date and then uh, you can see the O-W-E-R but now the T is uh, visible and it turned out really well so at the end I'll have the photos for you guys um, so you guys can give me your opinion of what you guys think but I think it turned out well. Check it out guys. Enfield tower lock plate. Enfield musket tower lock plate. It turned out really well. If you could see right there, it says tower and all the letters came out and the date of 1862. Really excited about this. It actually cleaned up a lot better than what I thought it was, especially because I've only only did electrolysis for about three hours on this. Um, but if, what I'm really happy about is if you look at the back, the mechanism cleaned up um, really well with doing the electrolysis to where it is functional to where it will lock at half cock and then it will also go to a full cock and lock which is awesome um, it's missing the spring that would go here so I'm having to manually give it tension back here to this mechanism which would be essentially uh, a linkage that's attached to the trigger that when pulled that would lift up and slam it down um, turned out really well really excited about this so um, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this little uh, video that I put together. I know that this video didn't take anybody step by step on how to do electrolysis. If you're wanting to know how to do electrolysis step by step, I uploaded a video about two months ago on another lock plate that I did and it was a Confederate Arsenal uh, lock plate and it was a beautiful lock plate turned out really well and you can watch that video it takes you step by step from the beginning to the end on how to build a uh, uh, electrolysis tank all the way to the end of waxing uh, that lock plate so if you're interested on learning how to uh, preserve your relics and doing electrolysis check out uh, my video that I uploaded on Mason Dixon diggers uh, You'll, uh, you'll enjoy that video. It helps out a lot. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, like uh, Mason Dixon Diggers on Facebook, but also subscribe to Mason Dixon Diggers on uh, the YouTube channel. So uh, I'm JP. I hope uh, that you enjoyed this little video that I put together for you guys. I know uh, I'm really happy with this lock plate. It's definitely going to be one of my prized possessions in my relic room. All right, guys, stay safe. Happy hunting.